الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا ورسولنا وقدوتنا سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه لا يوم الدين ثم أما بعد The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is reported to have stated من لم يرحم صغيرنا ويوكر صغيرنا فليس منا The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is reported to have stated he who does not have mercy upon our children or on our young and does not respect those of the older generation, then is not from us. And this is a very important concept today, especially in a society which sometimes places utmost importance on the economic value that one may bring and doesn't look to the volume of experience that one, as they grow older, uh, and as perhaps they seek to have less economic impact on a society, but yet that volume of experience and that volume of wisdom that naturally accompanies uh, growing older, especially when one reaches into their senior age, is something that's quite important. And the Prophet Sallallahu in other narrations is reported to have stated that one who reaches age where their hair begins to gray or begins to grow white, that's a sign from Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala and should be respected. So if one grows into this old age and they still remain Muslim and they are practicing, then that's something to be respected. And this is especially true when one is dealing with one's older relatives, especially one's parents. And our ulama, they say that looking at the face of a parent, a mother or a father, is a type of ibadah. It's a type of devotional act. You can grow closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala merely by looking at the face of your father, looking at the face of your mother. And so we live in a society that sometimes teaches us to question authority, to not give much respect to older people, that often uh, has no real plan for benefiting from the wisdom and from the volume of experience of older people. And it's unfortunate that oftentimes many of our, our senior citizens, our older people, they wind up alone and perhaps even destitute in their last days perhaps even uh, staying in these type of retirement homes or these nursing homes with few or if any family members ever to visit them. Uh, and it's a very sad existence uh, and it's a very sad ending. Uh, Islam teaches us to do quite the opposite, right? Islam says that uh, we should never even say an unkind word to our parents. Never even say uff, when uff to the Arabs is merely a way of stating your displeasure at something. Right? It's not exactly a, a type of severe disparaging, but it's merely to show displeasure, to say off. And even that should not be shown to, to our parents and to, to our elders, and to those who, who have rights upon us as, as all the members of our society, uh, let alone to do something beyond saying off, to disparage them, to uh, uh, to show little patience with them, even to, and unfortunately in some places, even to strike them or, or, or be physically violent with them. All of these things are, are, are enormous sins for Muslims and they should be utterly avoided. And parents should be shown the utmost respect. And the Quran acknowledges that as people grow older, then they might become more difficult to deal with. Uh, they are, their mental state, their emotional states might be affected. But even despite this, even despite maybe more difficult circumstances in dealing with one, one's parents and dealing with older members of the community, we should have a spirit of what we call ihtimal, spirit of tolerance, spirit of compassion. And that means to absorb you know, any type of abuse that you may, can, may deem or construe that comes your way, but nonetheless to pardon people, to be nice to people, to uh, give them space. And this was the character of the Prophet Wasallam. He never had any type of abusive language. He never said any, he never maligned anyone. Uh, he never uh, disrespected either the young or the old. He even treated the young oftentimes as adults and gave them uh, uh, the feeling that they were active and vibrant members of the community and didn't merely dismiss them because they were children or merely dismiss them because they were older members of the community. So to show compassion for all, to show especially respect for older, older members of our community, and to show mercy upon the younger members of our community are all part of the prophetic inheritance and irth in Nabawi that we must avail ourselves in order to which to lead lives of happiness and to lead 
lives of success and to lead lives of compassion. وَيَخْرُدْ عَوَانًا الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِل